today we will see the setup what i'm showing on screen so first of all see the components here right one is region you can choose any one region where you want to create this uh, uh, component inside that we will create one vpc and vpc will have a particular availability zone like availability zone a and availability zone b we'll choose any of these two availability zones to demonstrate the setup and then we'll create two subnet one will be private and one will be public subnet and how this two subnets differ right what is public and what is private that is the intent of this video right to explain that so public subnet is something which has a route to internet and how we are making sure that it our route to internet is we are making use of a component called internet gateway internet gateway is a vpc level entity so when you create internet gateway you will attach it to vpc not to a particular subnet so how this subnet differs private and public is not through internet gateway more more so through route table so you will have a route table attached to your public subnet which has a route going through internet through internet gateway that is all is making difference not internet gateway in itself right so instance in public subnet we have a public ip whereas instance in private subnet will not have public ip and that is a difference and we'll see it happening we'll see how instance connect to internet why private subnet will not able to have a instance which is connecting to internet all these things we'll see it in action management console go to the services and search for vpc right so i'm going to vpc uh, vpc console and then we'll create vpc first so if you see right i am into north virginia region you can just choose region from here so first is like choose the right region then create vpc vpc only i'm just creating one vpc so for example y vpc a i'm just giving some name so it's for ipv4 10.10.00.16 yeah so everything else you can just keep it as it is and create vpc once vpc is ready we'll create subnet as we know like one subnet has to be private and another one is public so it will create two subnets here so vpc like we are keeping it in my vpc a then subnet subnet just call it public so i'll just keep it in us is 1a so if you do not choose it it will just by default choose something so i'm just explicitly adding us is 1a so subnet range is 10.10.1.0/24 right and then create subnet so this is one public subnet i'll create one more and this is subnet private so now i'll just choose us is 1b so range is 10.10.2.0/24 this is subnet which will make it private so that's the reason we just gave the naming convention as such subnet private and subnet public right just to avoid confusion so two subnets are ready and now create internet gateway as i explained before internet gateway is the one who is giving connectivity to internet so create internet gateway my internet gateway just call it a internet gateway is created so this is if you see state it is detached so you haven't attached this internet gateway to any vpc so i'll go and say attach it to vpc so there is a my vpc a so this internet is attached so does that mean uh, subnet public or like uh, uh, have we done with our uh, creating public subnet no we just created a internet gateway and it attached it to vpc so internet gateway is a vpc level entity not subnet level so now one part is done so let me create a route table one round table there will be a default route table with vpc but i just want to create a new one so that like we keep it uh, easy to understand my route table a it's uh, and attach it to vpc I'll create that route table in vpc and there is a subnet association and this is the most important thing so if you see for this vpc route table is created 
but now we are associating that route table with one of the subnet and that it all is making it uh, uh, public subnet or private subnet so if you see this route table is attached to public subnet and then in this route table we'll add one entry which is going through internet so i'm just associating this route table with the uh, subnet uh, subnet public still it does not allow internet traffic but now if i add route to this here it is and then add one route so that is going to internet 000, 000, zero uh, slash zero so that is going through uh, to internet and here i am saying choose this internet gateway so whatever is traffic initiating from that particular subnet that will go through uh, to internet through internet gateway that is what we are telling and this particular route table is attached or associated with public subnet that's how the public subnet is different from private subnet otherwise creation of subnet is same even like when you attach internal gateway we are not attaching it to subnet we are attaching to vpc still there is no difference different happens when you associate that subnet to particular inter uh, like uh, particular route table and then that route table has a entry which is going to internet that is what it is making it uh, public subnet so now uh, basic setup is done so now uh, we have a two subnet one is subnet private and subnet public so let's see how like we can just uh, uh, make sure that internet traffic is there right just want to validate that whatever our uh, theoretical discussion what we did just want to just see it happening so just launch one instance we launch two instances one is a uh, ec2 public and we'll keep it in uh, public submit keep it, just choose something and then here networking setting is different right so this is in our my vpc a subnet i'll just create a private subnet for uh, private instance first okay so it's private so like uh, i'll just create a security group right so uh, let me see whether we have any existing security group yeah so that is default so let me just create one my sg and just i'll make it private you can create only one uh, security group and attach but uh, just to make things easy to understand i'm just creating two security groups and SSH, ssh traffic from anywhere right so let's keep it as it is okay so one instance is created i'll just go back and create one public public instance or uh, instance in public subnet ec2 public right so everything remains same when key i can just associate same thing here is a different like i'll just go to you can see and subnet instead of private i'll just choose public i want to associate uh, public ip to this my security group public So here, I'll just keep uh, default SSH uh, uh, rule there. If we need any changes, right, we can go and then uh, change it in the uh, security group itself. So for now, I'll just keep it as it is and launch. I just want to show you something like uh, the public and private difference, right? So now we saw already saw like security groups, uh, sorry, yeah, like uh, subnets. I just want to show you uh, different public and private. Yeah, naming convention, I just give an EC2 public. Oh, both are uh, public let me see which uh, uh, subnet we put it into right okay this is even though name is the same let me change this instead of public this one is actually private it's just a tag right so it doesn't make much difference but like what makes difference is like this so if you see subnet this is in private subnet and there is no public ip associated with this this is uh, uh, the for private uh, private instance and if you see same if you see for uh, this uh, public instance you can see that public IP is associated with this and this is in your public subnet. So now let's connect first to public subnet, uh, public instance. Let me just connect to that, instance connect, right? Let it just make a connection, yeah. So if you see here, this is our public uh, instance. So if I ping, say, Amazon.com, right? This, this is able to ping and that shows like this has an internet connectivity so i hope you are clear about what is public subnet and what is private subnet and what is difference between those two and let's make sure that you clean up your lab like i'll just terminate instances
Okay, so installs are terminated. Let me go to VPC. Yeah, so my VPC here, yeah, just delete this VPC. So it will take care of deleting entire gateway route tables, subnets. So you just need to delete and you are done. That's it. So it is create the uh, deleting whatever things we have created for this particular lab. So we are good with cleanup as well. So thank you, thanks guys for watching. I hope you learned something new and I intend to cover more networking related topic in the future. So please make sure you connect with me. Hope you learned something new today. If so, please like this video, share, leave your comments so that I know this content is helping you. Don't forget to subscribe and that's now. Okay, see you again with yet another exciting tutorial about AWS. Keep learning, keep sharing what you learn and thanks for watching.